does as well. I believe he is also trying to qualify for the top eight. I don't think he qualified just yet. I don't know if he qualified just yet either. See, this is why I wish I had both streams in front of me. But you know what, though? I can only do so much back here as a commentator. But you know what? That's where the – okay, he's in top eight. Tweak is in top eight, so another surprise. Player, yeah, another player locked in, man. So you know, some of the uh, Summit three qualifiers holding on to their seed and staying in that winners bracket. It is rough out here. It is hard to stay. There are so many sharks in the water. But I already know one player up here. We got Luis. Yeah, Louis Money Sign is here, and you know the great thing about this guy is that you know you talked about character variety, just people being able to pick up multiple different characters. I mean, nobody quite does it like Louis Money as well. I mean. Uh, you know, of course, the Fox, the Dr. Mario most notably, but we also have a lot of uh, Palutena this weekend as well. I think that's what he used to beat Pandarian, if I'm not mistaken. So, right. Yeah, big shout out to her, of course, you know, trying to put on in a major way. But Louis Money just had a had a different plan in mind for good old Pandarian. Oh, there. Luis going Fox. Yes. Yes. Uh -oh. Okay. So we have, haven't have seen this in quite some time. Luis has, I almost kind of felt like Luis has dropped Fox for the Palutena, but it looks like he's still comfortable using the Fox in some matchup. And Light was not able to show up to this tournament, so definitely a little sad there. But Luis showing the Fox. I see some Fox in this Riptide bracket. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know what's funny? I mean, in Light, if you're watching, we miss you, homie. We, de we definitely miss you. I just want to see, I wanted to see a little bit of Fox. I mean, not enough to really oversaturate the bracket, but definitely just enough to get my fix, okay? I need my Fox fix. Ooh, okay, okay. We got the forward air. Going to start underneath the rock. Now, this is a matchup where I, I feel like most Rob and Fox. Oh, and the, the crispy rising back air. No buys, but damn. Ooh, he's cooking right now. Man, he is cooking with the right type of grease. This ain't that great value stuff. This is on brand here. No Kroger's here. No, absolutely not. <laughs> There's that down to him. We can't forget that Rob also knows how to box himself. Now, a little early on the up air. That's okay. Still finds the opening with the nair. Now, Fox off of his feet. It's a fox that might be dead meat. Oh, and just as I said, yeah, you blow fox up to the top, you might actually be able to get that stock taken. Uh, and I believe the Rob name Anathema. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not super good with the names here, but this Rob definitely uh, fighting back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, putting on a solid performance here. I mean, it's especially going up against somebody at the caliber of Louis Money. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Grabbing the top. Hold on, it's getting fancy schmancy right now. Ooh. There's the up smash. Ain't no platforms for you, homie. Okay. Yeah. Asthma doing a really good job of racking up all this damage. You're going to get the snipe off stage, the fastball to get back to the ledge with the Firefox and the forward tilt. Almost enough to take out Fox very, very light. Using the Nair and the down air will finish up the stock. Anathema now up two to one. Uh huh. Rob just has a lot of positional advantages on Fox. Now, on stage, of course, it's the Fox show. Not to take too much away from Rob, because Rob can definitely box too. You just can't outbox Fox. No, I don't oh. care. I don't care how good that down tilt oh. is. Oh, you're bending it like Beckham out here. Yeah, and I, I think uh, Luis did get the sour dash attack. Might have been able to get the uh, up smash confirmed there. He didn't have much uh, stage to run forward with there, but man, had the read on the tech roll in, but was just got that sour hit on the up smash. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. There's the down tilt, so yeah, he has a lot of opportunity right here to try to bring this thing back close, but. I mean, I'm going to be real, man. Rob on stage, you know what I'm saying? Rob was kind of a problem. But Rob oh. off stage, though, where Rob gets very dangerous because you can do stuff like down there at the ledge, fake you out, think it's, make you think it's okay, give you that false insecurity to recover improperly just to reset the combo. And at this point, no, uh, you don't get too much out of, like, sour air or down air here. You, you might get a tech chaser, too. But right now, Fox is really trying to land this back air or up smash, maybe a straight up air here, but Anathema not given. Not giving it to Luis. Gets the parry, the up tilt, still not enough. There's the up air. We knew it was coming. We just had to figure out when. It was only a matter of time. And if Fox has not up airing, you aren't playing the right character. There's three, there's four. He needs it. He needs it. He wow. needs it. I don't know if he needs all that. All right, buddy. Maybe a little bit more, you're right. <laughs> oh, God, Chuck. Oh, God, Chuck. You already know the Fox bias is on the mic. I don't care. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. At least you get to see your character. I don't ever see any links. <laughs> I don't see any me gunners neither. Hey. <laughs> oh, and that's going to be it, the pile driver. And there goes Fox, flatten on the window there. Poor Fox. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of taunt now is going on there. Now, I don't care what the narrative is. You can't be the taunt to get body. I, I get it, Louis Money. You know, you're feeling very confident. And honestly, a lot of that goes a long way at this portion of bracket. But I cannot ignore how crazy Rob is versus a character like Fox. His Fox is nice, but I don't think the Fox is as well polished as this player's Rob here. 
All right, Luis gonna stick with that. I, I, I was thinking maybe a switch to the Palatina, but Luis sticking out with the Fox. The black and yellow jacket looking nice. Anathema staying on the Rob. Just won that first match. Okay, gonna go into ooh, the hard air after the double jab. Good damage here. Right. And Rob getting off the ledge can be a little tricky versus Fox as well. Fox, definitely a great ledge trapper for damage. Can be can struggle a little bit for getting the KO and punishing ledge hang. Look at these nares, man. He's still not even hit once. Not at all. I've been applying a lot of pressure. And yeah, this is the part of the match that we really get to see too much of in game number one was like, you know, Rob is off his feet. Ooh. What is he gonna do to land? First Louis Money right now going absolutely bonkers here in the corner, but just as I say that, the wacky waving inflatable arms. Yeah. Get them <laughs> off me. Get off me. Anathema trying to take the stock right then and there, but oh my goodness, the own top top 10 anime betrayals right here. It be your own people. Sometimes it just be you. <laughs> oh my lord, Jesus Christ. Okay, up and over, pops the nair. Anathema needs to try to set up some kind of offstage scenario here, but if you let this box run loose for too long, you are going to take a bunch of damage. Yeah, man, I mean, this is, a, this is one of the nicest boxes in the business here, and of course, Lee Money proving exactly why having this lead, not only having the lead, but maintaining it, though, in a very dominant fashion. Okay, hit his nares. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, you, get, you don't want to get hit by up air in that platform situation. Box gets a ton of damage, and the cross-up nair does not matter. Anathema with the up smash on deck. Mm -hmm. It has it on lock right now. The corner control is ever so dominant here from Louis Money. But as I oh. say that, wait a goddamn minute. The oh, remix? Uh, this was definitely the remix to Ignition right here. Yeah, because we even saw the uh, the drag down up there too. I don't know if that was an error or not, but it looks sick. I know. We'll definitely take it. It's good damage here, but it's not enough combo as you may. This is a game of stocks. Wow, dash stack and up air actually looked like a combo there. Ooh. And I think it, the reason why was because Rob was actually rolling in. So Fox got like a dash attack that was like, Rob was almost like right inside of Fox when the dash attack happened. So maybe that was the case. You gotta watch how close you get sometimes on, the, on your opponent. Maybe you might not find yourself landing the moves that you certainly want to land. And I wish I could say the same right here for Louis Money, but with the way this match is going, I mean, it looks like everything is hitting and then some. Oh, this is big damage here. Yeah, here's another up air. Almost a third one for your troubles. The drag down, the tech chase into the grab. Anthema taking a ton of damage here. Already at 95%. The sour dash stack almost looking like the hit the two frame. Yeah, quite seriously, man. And it's, what's funny is it's so weird to see Rob get pressured like this. But if anybody can bring it back, you know what I'm saying, at least in this part of bracket, which Rob is going to be an Anthema for sure. There's a roll. It's going to take a little bit more. It's going to go for the up throw. And then, yes, right. that is a combo as old as time. I don't even think that was true. That was definitely not, not true. true. If, if that was true, oh, man. Oh, baby. Yeah, relax, buddy. All right. Scared. I don't. I, there's a timeline that exists somewhere <laughs> out in the multiverse where that stuff is true. All right. I'm uh, not having a good time. Yeah, we, you just got to play another game. It's called Melee. Uh, <laughs> they need to make some of these combos, combo contests or something at SmashCon, mini games, something, man, because good Lord. The last DLC character, Melee Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hear the Fox music? And his Echo Fighter for all Meta Knight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Echo Fighter for all Meta Knight. That's We're right. bringing back the classics. <laughs> We're bringing back Fast Forward Bayo. I'm talking free patch Bayo, too. So oh, down, down tilt still hits like a you damn can, sword. You can keep that one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'm <laughs> return, good on that. Return to Sender, man. That's right. That is bad, bro. Stop letting the interns design characters, Nintendo. All right. One, one apiece here. Fox Go. versus Rob. Um, actually, a, a matchup that I've seen quite a bit. Uh, I would like Fox is definitely not super common. I, I would say Rob is a common character, but we do see a lot of great players that play Fox and Rob. So, uh, I mean, just I mean, a character that both both of these characters just been relevant since the uh, you know year one of Ultimate. Yeah, most definitely. And you know they've you know in some ways you know they've kind of weaned off and then they you know they'll come back whatever. But yeah. for the most part, you know when you go against a top player, you go against a player of any caliber at this point in time in bracket playing these two characters, you should know certainly what to expect. It's not going wow. to be an easy feat. But speaking of the feat right there, man, Louis Money definitely handed it out in a major way right there on Anthema. Figure it out and quick. Yeah, and it's Fox gets very dangerous if Fox is able to like get these stocks at around like the 100, 120 mark, because the damage comes easy, baby. Look at that, 75%. If uh, you're able to steal out stocks, like, you know, at that, like I said, 100 mark, oh my goodness, the drag down. Oh my, okay, okay. Because up tilt, so usually in that scenario, you can get the up tilt, get the drag down fair, and then try to go for a tech chase situation with the up smash there. But look at this pressure. Wow, and Louis Money looking really good right now, looking really poised to shut this down in a major way, but 
Anathema, though, showing that resiliency. The top of that head is glowing, so you know he has one in the chamber for him. Oh, the up air, oh. almost getting the shark here. Yeah, and Rob is at 134%. You get it up there at like about short hop distance. That should be the stock here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go for the ledge jump. Yeah, Fox is pretty tricky on the ledge because you want to cover ledge jump, but you don't want to be too obvious with it. Because right. Fox is a character that you can ledge jump and then get a quick reversal just because of his fall speed, falling there, falling back here. Right? I'd be really careful about that. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. And Anthem needs to be very careful as well in this match because 169% is certainly nothing to sneeze at. Okay, no jab for you. I'm really just trying to poke his way in, but there's the Nair. I'd like to see what we're going to turn into while Louis off stage. Oh, man. Anathema not getting these edge guards that uh, they were getting, you know, earlier. So it's looking really rough. Yeah, you know, a Fox that's not being taken off stage is a Fox that's a, might, it might win this match. So definitely got to make it difficult for Fox. But right now, Louis is making it that much more difficult for you. Okay. Finds the Nair here. Trying to pressure on these platforms and now getting a little more handsy. Again, Rob not the best boxing tools in the game, but they're pretty damn good for a character designed the way he is. Oh, well, that's yours. Yep, see ya. Right back, and Anathema trying to cover that ledge jump, but Fox is popping in there early there. This is gonna be big damage, the reset. Going for the fourth zone, set up up tilt here. Luis still getting a ton of damage. Got the Phantom Footstool, did not want to be that high up into the air for that neutral air there. But look at these carries. Oh, not going for the drag down fair, but still catching that air dodge into the back air. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. I like that tactic there. Just to turn around S Master Ledge just to try to catch the roll, but the up air right here. I need to see a couple more. Oh, oh damn. Oh. Damn, damn, damn. Luis is cooking on this box. Moving up, down, left, right, very, very fast, and nailing the tech chases. I'll tell you right now, if you hit every tech chase with Fox, he becomes viable. I'll say it. Okay. I'll say it. But it's it's really hard to do. Oh man, are you one of these like? I'm just saying. Are you one of these like Fox saying good players? Are you one of those guys? No, no. Well, like you just have to be, like. Got to be spot on, right? You just you just have to. If you win with Fox, you're just insane. Okay. Like, yeah. Right. Let's, just, let's just put it that way. You're just light. You're just light. Yeah, pretty point. much. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty much light. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> damn it, Charles. <laughs> we gotta talk after this, man. This damn Fox apologist. All right, y'all. Potential final game right here. I don't think we're going to see it, though. I really feel like Anathema certainly has something left, uh, you know, just in the chamber to try to bring themselves back in. But the problem is that a lot of these offstage conversions, a lot of this offstage pressure is starting to become kind of linear. We're starting to see a lot of the same, like, just back throw right at the ledge, run off side beam. And it really feels like Louis Money is just always have the proper recovery option to move around that, whether it be, like, stall with down beam or, you know, the immediate, uh, you know, side special back to the ledge or even just, like, saving his jumps until, you know, like, the rotor arms just, you know, animation stops itself. Yeah, I think Anathema can be a little bit more reactive when edge guarding Fox, right? You, you want to wait out the illusion, react to the fire Fox. There's one illusion, there's the high. Wow, using the forward air as well to kind of give yourself that boost on the double jump. And Luis getting that as well. When Rob up bees, the arms do come up a little bit. So it's like, there is mix. You can throw up air out there, but man, Luis is just nailing so many force matches. I just have to mention that He's not really having struggling killing, and that's where Fox can be really lacking. There's the illusion. Here's the fire Fox, but the forward air anathema getting these edge guards. You need to kick this Fox out off stage. That's right. If you just keep allowing Fox to recover for free, I mean, I know we sound like two old men with a broken record somewhere, but look, it's serious, okay? You cannot let Fox just keep recovering. At least, at least contest a little bit. You can be off the mark, but you got to contest every time. It's a tale as old as time, man. It Gimp really the Fox. Is. It got it's a gimple, man. <laughs> it's the same in every game. <laughs> Nothing changes. Literally. No matter which versus Smash you're playing, you take Fox's ass off stage and you touch him, okay? Literally yep. anything. Okay, nice. Empty jump right into the up throw. Oh Gets the parry into up to Good lord. Louis Money is certainly feeling himself right now. Jeez, and like all the parries, like, I'm, I'm going to just be honest, man. Luis is playing playing this matchup so well. He He's recovering in a lot of ambiguous ways. And he's getting like almost, it feels like every Nair is almost getting parried, man. That, that's really impressive. And when you shut down that move from Rob, when, when you make a Rob feel like they can't use it, uh oh, you're dead. Wow, 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 See, wow. No hesitation. Wow. Fox is that light. Yeah, seriously. He was like, he, he's dead. He needs to be that light, though, Charles. He, he, need, he needs to be that light. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I caught you red handed, yeah. bro. He needs to be that light, god damn it. He needs it. <laughs> Damn it, Charles is already good. He wants his characters to be better. I can't stand it, bro. <laughs> right. I don't got the agenda, I swear. <laughs> too many agendas, too many narratives right here in this tournament, but there's only one narrative to be played out here in this match. And it's, are we going to go to a game five or is it going to shut down here at 3-1? The way that this is rolling out, Anathema 
not the strongest start right here, but certainly somewhere they're probably listening to Charles commentate this about how to defeat Fox. And uh, they're definitely playing into that narrative, getting Fox off stage and trying to pressure the right way. Yeah, and Anthema, I mean, has been getting some of these edge guards in this game particular. And look at how close this game is. Okay, gets the hit here. Oh, wait a minute. Gets, oh, no, no punish on the getup attack there. That was a huge opening. Uh -huh. Oh, tries to go for the rotor arm. See, in that scenario, you can kind of shoot off the top. There's a lot of things you can do to check the illusion because it's either illusion or the Firefox high, right? Where are we going? There's only two. Oh, just runs right up on the shield. Had him a little shook right there. Now, before, earlier in the set, he would uh, spot dodge a lot when Louis would get close. But this time, actually electing the whole shield, probably the safer of the option. But obviously, at these later percents, not really much Fox can do out of a throw. Oh, okay. Falling up air through the platform here. Still not enough. Okay, here's the neutral air. Rob just needs one solid backer, one solid smash attack. Oh, man, this is so close. Here's the near. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to go for the throw, but the platform might actually extend it. Yes, and we are going to game number five here, friends. Ah, that's such a good match. And, man, look at the audience. So many games to pop off of. We got two smash streams. We got rivals to the right of us. They're having a blast themselves. Oh, man, yeah, everyone is getting loud in this venue. The energy coming from everyone, the players, the commentators, the crowd. It's amazing. Uh-huh. And they're anathema. Try, and, and they're in that situation. Foss can kind of struggle to find the backer, right? Luis was trying to find that stray up here, trying to find that stray backer. Right. Anathema did an incredible job of just avoiding it and eventually getting that up throw on the platform with the max rage. And that, it, like, like I said, when Fox doesn't get those KOs at that 100 to 120 mark, that's, right. that's where it can get really tough. Your setups are um, gone. You need that stray hit, that's right. and your opponent's got a full tank of rage, right? And you're not the heaviest character in the game. Yeah, you so. most definitely are not. And unfortunately, the weight is not on your side. There is nowhere to hide here from Rob. And of course, Anathema, very well aware of that here. Now, this is crazy. I did not expect this to go all the way to five games, but Anathema was able to dig super duper deep and really kind of bring it close. We didn't really see much out of the throw game from Anathema, despite, you know, playing a character like Rob. We usually see a lot of that at this level, but found other ways to really stick it to Luis, and then at the end, showed his hand with something he hadn't done at all. Okay, so right now, he's getting this damage on the lead trap. There's the up air, but trapping the air dodges here. What's the tech chase, the dash attack? into the upper, almost getting another one. And look at this, every match kind of feels like this where Luis just comes in and gets a ton of damage on this box. Uh-huh. There's the up the right to the up air here. Some pretty quick and safe percent here. Placed oh, onto the board. Air. Why? Oh. Does this pull the trigger? Wow. That was a true combo into the up smash, but it's all right. We're picking it up off the roll. That's right. As if this character needed to be any better, right? <laughs> character is fine, bro. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of I'm it. tired of the fox. <laughs> there right here. I'm sure Anathema can certainly share the same sentiment as well, you know what I'm saying? Playing pretty well here, but we're going to have to figure out a way right now to play the fox's weaknesses because in terms of the on-stage game, I mean, again, Rob is blessed with some phenomenal tools, but she ain't Fox McCloud, though, okay? Ooh, okay, getting snapping onto the ledge there. The ledge drop, double drop options from Fox are fantastic. Lead drop, double jump there. Lead drop, double jump there. Usually leads into uh, follow-ups as well at certain percents. And you, again, utilizing that forwarder with the double jump, Luis going extremely high with Fox. Uh -huh. At that point, you have so many mix-ups because you're so fast, but trying to snatch up Rob with the spot dodge into the up smash, going to take care of that first stop. Oh, man. Anthem is showing some signs of life here, then rolls right through it. But good Lord, the smash attack. That foot eye has quite the hitbox on it, I say. Uh-oh. Yeah, Big fix this character. Big damage here, and the air dodge is not going to bail you out. Rob, definitely a character that is susceptible to these combos, right? You got the big body frame, the frame three air dodge, not doing you any favor. No, not at all here. Okay, so that hit is going right now. So he obviously has one in the chamber. It's just a matter of when he is going to pull the trigger on it. In the meantime, we're going to have to make a play in quick. There's the platform right into the forward air. Going to get two in a row and the nair oh, as well, oh, oh, oh. but a little mispositioned with the up air. I oh do my goodness. appreciate the attempt. I got to say, the reads have been real, but he's just on the wrong page. Okay, into the top. Wait a minute. Oh, man. Anthema does get the up smash, but it's still not enough. Up air, maybe great DI coming out from Louis Money. Okay, a couple back airs in a row. Goes for the nair. Nothing off the forward air here right now. Louis Money, despite being in the lead, pressuring a lot. Ooh. And then, good <laughs> Lord, uh, that read was on the money. Louis Money style, take it to the bank and cash it in a major way. NorCal, stand up. Your boy's moving on to the next part of bracket. Big shout out to Louis Money. And, of course, I value an effort nonetheless from Ananthema, but it just was not enough. Doing it with the boy, Fox. So, Luis definitely proven that he's got the chops with Politana, and he's also 
bringing it back old school style with the with the Fox. He was uh, so in the very first year of Ultimate, he actually pretty much. I mean, it wasn't solo Fox, but it was majority Fox. Sure, sure. He had uh, Mario. He had a Sonic. Then he started gravitating towards the uh, Palutena right before quarantine, and did do a lot of work on the Palutena during quarantine. I would say he, he plays mostly Palu nowadays. Okay. Um, and but it was really cool to see the Fox. Maybe certain matchups he feels still comfortable with Fox. And yeah, I mean, it was great to see it. Definitely still got the chops with the Fox, man. You